Hi and welcome to this video. I am Anis, a GMAT expert. I created this channel to help you ace the GMAT in the easiest way possible. In this channel, you will find strategies that are never shown elsewhere. These powerful strategies will help you solve difficult problems very quickly. I invite you to stay tuned till the end of this video. There is a special gift waiting for you. So this is a very important and difficult question of geometry. So let's begin. In the figure, in the figure, each side of square A, B, C, D has lengths one. Okay, so here we have one, 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 and one. Okay, the length of line segment C E is equal to one. So this segment is equal to one. Okay. Um, and the length of line segment BE is equal to the length of segment line DE. So here we have A, B, C, D, C, no, A, B, C, D here. Okay, so BE is equal to DE, BE is equal to DE, so this side is equal to this side, okay? So, what is the area of the triangular region BCE? So, he wants us to compute the area of BCE. Okay? Let's analyze this uh, question and this uh, figure. So, we know let's consider triangles BCE and CDE we see that BE is equal to ED and CE is a common is common to two triangles to, to both triangles and BC is equal to 1 and CD is equal to 1 so all the sides of uh, triangle BCE are equal to the sides of triangle CDE. So uh, both triangles are equal. Okay, so triangle BCE is equal to triangle CDE. Thus, all the angles of both triangles are equal. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. So what did I do? until now I compared the sides of triangle BCE and the sides of triangle CDE I saw that CE is common BE is equal to DE and BC is equal to 1 CD is equal to 1 so both triangles are equal so they have uh, equal angles so this angle here is equal to this angle here so we can see that CE is a bisect of the angle B E D. So C E is the bisectrix of B E D. So if we now consider this triangle, let's observe this triangle B E D. Okay, we have C E is a bisectrix. Okay. And the triangle BED is an isosceles triangle because BE is equal to ED, so it is an isosceles triangle. And we know that CE is a bisectrix, and we know that the bisectrix in an isosceles triangle is at the same time the altitude of the triangle. So CE is also the altitude in the triangle B E D. So we can continue this drawing like this. So C E is perpendicular to B D. Okay, so C E is the altitude of triangle B E D. So I will call this point H. Okay, so I want the area of B C E. So now I can calculate the area of B H E. B H E. So 
let me simplify it let me simplify so I want the area of BCE is equal to the area of BHE minus the area of BCH okay so let let's compute the area of BHE so BHE is a uh, right triangle okay so I to calculate his uh, its area so area of BCH is equal to BH times C uh, HE HE divided by 2 so BH let, let us compute BH BH is equal to BD divided by 2 because diagonals in a square uh, cuts in the middle of each diagonal so H is also the midpoint of BD and also because of the bis bisectrix in the isosceles triangle is also a median so H is the midpoint of B and D so BH is equal BD over 2 and if you know the properties in a square you'd know that BD is equal to AB times uh, times square root of 2 AB is equal to 1 so BD is equal to 1 times square root of 2 so it's equal to square root of 2 okay this is the length of BD so BH is equal to BD divided by 2 so it's square root of 2 divided by 2 this is BH so it's equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 times HE okay let me calculate HE so HE is equal to HC plus CE so it's equal to HC is equal to BH HC is equal to BH uh, those are the properties in a, in a square because the, diagonal, the diagonals in a square are equal and BH is the half of the diagonal and CH is the half of the diagonal also so BH is equal to CH so it's square root of 2 divided by 2 plus CE is equal to 1 so times plus 1 all divided by 2 okay so square root of 2 times square root of 2 it's equal to 2 2 times 2 is equal to 4 so 2 divided by 4 is equal to half plus square root of 2 over 2 all divided by 2 okay all divided by 2 so it's equal to 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 4 okay so this is the area of BCH so now I want to compute the area of uh, no this is the area of BCH okay now I, I no 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 it's not the area of BCH because this is the area of BHE BHE okay so now I want to compute the area of area of BCH is equal to BH times CH divided by 2 so area of BCH is equal to square root to 2 over 2 times square root to 2 over 2 divided by 2 so it's equal to 1 fourth okay square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 2 2 divided by 2 times 2 is 4 so 2 is 2 divided by 4 so it's half half divided by 2 it's 1 fourth so it's it's 1 fourth so now area of BCE is equal to area of BHE minus area of BCH okay so it's equal to 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 4 minus 1 fourth you do the calculations as square root of 2 divided by 4 hope this question is clear this is a complicated GMAT question um, hope it's clear 
and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. In order to help you ace the GMAT, I decided to offer you for free my ultimate GMAT probability course. You can find this course in the description of this video. Probability is one of the most important parts of the GMAT quant section. This part is very difficult and many students struggle with it. In this course, I will give you the best strategy to tackle any probability question and I will show you how to apply this strategy to more than 40 different practice questions. Once you finish this course, you'll be able to solve any probability question that encounters you in the GMAT. First, I will introduce you to combinations, arrangements and permutations. Then we'll solve together more than 40 GMAT questions of different level of difficulty and I will show you step by step how to solve them in the simplest way possible. Once you master the methods I teach in this course, you'll be able, starting of tonight, to not only solve any GMAT probability problem, but also to solve them quickly and this will help you save a lot of time during the test. Click on the link in the description to get this unique free course.